Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the world. Welcome to the AI for Good Perspectives. I'm Chris Bockman presenting today. AI for Good is a year-round digital platform where AI innovators and problems owners learn, build, and connect to identify practical AI solutions to advance the UN Sustainable Development Goals. AI for Good Perspectives offers expert insights, global visions, and shared solutions from the AI for Good community. And that's why I'm delighted today to be joined by Jamie Thomas, who's GM of Strategy and Development of IBM Systems. And Jamie joins me today from North Carolina. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Chris. Thanks for having me on your program today. That's great. So tell me, um, for IBM, tell me what um, your clients are saying regarding AI and social good. Well, Chris, I, I do believe that both of these topics are very important to our clients. First of all, I believe our clients are very interested in achieving economic impact, not only for their organizations, but for their downstream uh, customers and consumers. And so they really intently believe this unique combination of AI paired with social good is something that they need to achieve. Uh, but they're trying to understand how they achieve that in the most effective way that meets the regulatory posture that many of them have to deal with, that allows them to take use of the huge amounts of data they have effectively. Um, and how do they really start to demonstrate production level uh, algorithms and outcomes, if you will, for these uh, customers uh, in line with what we're seeing in our everyday lives? Because we're all taking advantage of AI, whether we know it today with a lot of these consumer apps, whether it's traffic routing or uh, other types of consumer recommendations. But then how do you take that to a corporate world, if you will? Sure. And when we talk about innovation, what do you believe is the biggest potential from where IBM stands? Well, I think that we definitely have an eye to how do we help individuals through this economic impact. And I think pairing that with these other objectives that are so important to the world around us, including how do we provide sustainable energy outcomes and how do we create, therefore, effective environments for humans to uh, participate and live in? So intelligent cities uh, is another part of our agenda that we think we can influence. And, and definitely these are all areas where artificial intelligence will play does play and will play a major role. I mean, everyone's talking about affordable energy, whether I'm here in France, of course, you're in the United States. So how can IBM contribute to affordable energy through AI? Well, one of the first things we, we, we're focusing on, given what we do, are sustainable IT offerings, right? So an area of focus for us has been the evolution of our hardware systems and how we can engineer those systems, if you will, to reduce electrical consumption and reduce footprint even within uh, facilities, because all of that goes a long ways towards improving energy outcomes. If you look at any study today, Chris, you'll see that buildings themselves are a huge consumer of energy, uh, upwards to 40%, depending on the survey uh, worldwide. So we look at our solutions as an integral part of that system. How do we provide a, a system that reduces energy and reduces footprint? And that's what we've done with some of our new offerings. Now, some might say, okay, we'll have energy crises now. Is this something, and we're all talking about this in solutions, is this something IBM has been working on well before what we're going through right now? Absolutely. Uh, you don't engineer these kind of systems in a year or even five years. You have to be on a long journey to understand how you can evolve the technology to take advantage of sustainable delivery models, as well as providing that sustainability to clients. So for decades, we've really focused on machines that have a sustainable outcome. In fact, uh, around these uh, deliveries or these offerings, if you will, we have a high degree of reuse uh, capability. We have objectives to make sure that we eliminate all non-recyclable plastics within the next year we have recyclable supply chain delivery mechanisms in terms of how we deliver the machines. And so all of that really is a long-term strategy for us in terms of what we've done in, in engineering. Also, you know, you're, you're with the AI for Good platform here at the ITU. Why is that important for you at IBM? Well, the, the AI platform, we've, we've been a strong sponsor of uh, AI in terms of what's right for human beings around the world, right? And making sure that we're providing solutions that don't invade on their uh, privacy and other um, uh, outcomes that we we're, we're really don't want to have in terms of our solutions and really focus on uh, the economic benefits to the individual. 
Uh, so we've taken a really strong stand on ethical AI for a number of years for that reason. Um, we've also uh, then proposed solutions that allow our clients to take advantage of that as well in terms of how they deliver these, these outcomes to the, their end consumers. You talk about clients. Obviously, I don't, you don't want to give away business secrets, but what are your clients looking for in particular? Well, some of what they're looking for is how do they take their existing operations and more effectively achieve these goals? So, for instance, in terms of our recent offering that we just uh, announced called the Linux One uh, uh, machine, if you will, our clients like Citibank are able to use that machine, apply artificial intelligence to their existing operations, whether that's fraud detection or risk analytics, and do that uh, much, much faster in a secure way, but also in a sustainable way. Because once again, they're able to take advantage of those footprint reductions I talked about in both energy and space, and they're able then to um, apply um, new intelligence while in, in, in the course of that as well. So AI is actually built into this machine. It's built into the processor. And so the customer doesn't really have to change their transactional uh, routing that they're doing already. They take advantage of the AI. They get the sustainability all at the same time. Yeah, you mentioned sustainability. I mean, a lot of fingers are pointed at the aviation industry, the car industry. We can't deny that big data processors, um, you know, that also is a big consumer of energy. I mean, you, you're not going to deny that. Right. And in fact, when you look at um, some of the new AI algorithms, they can be very power consumptive. Uh, and so that's why when we designed this particular machine, we looked for a path, if you will, that took advantage of what the client was already executing, enable them to get this new capability without then applying perhaps more, uh, more consumption than necessary to achieve end goals. So a lot of the, the centers that you see around uh, AI, data mining, uh, learning for AI, very sprawled out uh, data centers, if you will. And so our, our approach here is how do we uh, reduce that consumption? How do we consolidate that compute capacity uh, and enable these clients to get those benefits without having the same downstream poor outcomes, if you will, in terms of energy? Sure. So, Jamie, I mean, sustainability and business don't are not opposed it actually makes good business sense to be sustainable absolutely uh, you can think about this we're all focused on energy today uh, in terms of what's happened globally it's become much more prominent in the last year obviously but it's always been something that we needed to consider uh, because um, many regions of, around the world if they don't have constrained energy i uh, definitely have seen energy prices escalating uh, so in terms of what any organization, I think, provides to their consumers, it's both good for the consumers from a price perspective, as well as good for all of us from an environmental perspective, if we can tackle these problems. So there's just a couple more questions. We're, we're in uncertain times, wherever we are around the globe right now. So how do you see AI technology affecting, impacting us as individuals in our society and in the future in a positive way? As we, after all, we are talking about AI for good. Well, I think beyond what we've already talked about in terms of sustainable compute, artificial intelligence can really improve how we live. If you think about the combination of these kinds of offerings within a city construct, we can build much more intelligent cities that allow us to be much more effective as citizens while taking advantage of sustainability. Uh, we can create, as I said before, much more sustainable supply chains. Um, I actually own supply chain for IBM as well, and that's been one of the most critical areas in the last year. How do you get the, the, the parts that you need, if you will, from point A to point B? How do you do that in an effective way? And in, anytime you're looking for these kinds of effective approaches, you're also helping with energy consum consumption and making sure that you're doing all of this in the most economical, sustainable way possible. It's good for the business and it's good for the world around us. Uh, you can think about AI applied to all of these problems, whether that's the, the intelligent city, whether that's the sustainable supply chain, whether that's intelligent computational capabilities. I think all of these are really, really uh, extraordinary in what they can achieve going forward. From a consumer buying a new sofa, getting some cereal to a business needing parts for the supply chain uh, for the production line, we're all impacted by this. So the supply chain has never been probably has been never has never been so prominent 
in any years this year, right? Exactly. Uh, we, we saw the uh, results of the pandemic and uh, a lot of changes in transportation, freight, availability of factories, depending on where COVID uh, was occurring around the globe. And so I think we've all had a, a, a large opportunity, if you will, to learn from that. We understand that to be able to manage those kind of risks, to be much more intelligent about how to ship these products and these parts and offerings, uh, you really do have to have artificial intelligence and you have to have a sustainable thought process applied to that as well. Uh, no one wants to have, you know, eight air flights for a single item if you can reduce that to one air flight or if you can reduce it to more ocean freight if possible. But understanding how to do that and, and, and also manage your risk requires a lot of intelligence in the, in the systems. Apart from sustainability, is there anything in particular that excites you the most about the future, say, let's say 10 years from now when it comes to AI for good? Well, I just, uh, I really envision a world where we, when we talk about artificial intelligence, we're not talking about it in the context of things that worry individuals about privacy invasion or those kind of things, but everybody's inherently understanding what it's done for them today in their daily life. Uh, did it help them get that sofa, as you talked about, <laughs> in the right amount of time such that their family could take advantage of it during the holidays? Did it help someone get some medical medical equipment or medication in the right amount of time? Um, did it also help us um, build better, you know, construct better buildings through improved data centers such that we're able to get uh, outcomes as businesses, but we feel confident that we've done that in a sustainable way? I think there's a lot of opportunity for us ahead. Jamie, I'm sorry, we've run out of time. There's a lot more we could talk about here. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Chris. Enjoyed it. Thank you. So that was Jamie Thomas from IBM Systems talking to us from North Carolina about how IBM and its clients can work together in particular on supply chains and sustainability. We have so much more from AI for Good, always online, all year round. See you soon.